Hi everyone, my name is Ko Wing Fat and my metric number is 253120. Today I'm going to present my individual assignment and my topic is the impact of market risk on internal and external factors of Kawan Food Bahad. Okay, now let's begin with the introductions. Kawan Food Bahad is a trading related company and in the sector of food and beverage. And Kawan Food Bahad also is the leading supplier of frozen food. And the issue and the problems of Kawan Food Bahad is that uh, Kawan Food Bahad mainly focus on foreign market, which is 61% of its sales is generated from foreign income. So the Kawan Food Bahad should deal with the foreign exchange rate, and which is also considered as the market risk. And another problem of Kawan Food Bahad is the yearly depreciation of some 20 million of its newly commissioned Pulau Indah facility. And the research objective is to examine the impact of market risk on firm specific factors, to examine the impact of market risk on external factors, to examine the impact of market risk on firm specific factors and external factors. And the research question is that what are the impacts of market risk on firm specific factors, external factors, and also the both of the specific factor and external factors. Okay, now let's look at the in literature review. Market risk is also the external factor in this study. For interest rate, according to Parkinson and Litnerit in 1999, in general, interest rate has been defined as price. Well, according to Wuhan in 2015, changes in, changes in interest rate will imply the basic situations of the operations of macroeconomy. It also affects all the macroeconomic variables, such as price level, the rate of economic growth, and international balance of payment. For the GDP gross domestic product, according to Mallet uh, 2012, GDP is used to measure the monetary value of final goods and services, that is, those end products that are bought by the final user which is produced in a country by a given period of time. So another two market risks is an unemployment and inflation. For an unemployment, according to Junior in 2015, and employment will occur when a person who is involved in the labor force and he or she is actively searching for employment is unable to get a job. For inflation, according to Akisoba 2017, inflation means the constantly increase of level of price of goods and services from time to time. Inflationary period will cause a sustained decrease in possessing power of money. Okay, now let's look at the internal factor. Uh, for operational risk, it is measured by operating ratio. The operating ratio is indicate whether the company's management has performed efficiently by dividing the total operating expense of a company by its net sales. For credit risk, it is measured by debt to income ratio or we call it DTI and is calculated by divided individuals or companies free from debt payments by the total income for a specific period, specified period given. For liquidity risk is measured by current mm -hmm. ratio, which can be calculated by dividing the company's current ratio to its current liabilities. For the methodology, the corporation is companies that are listed as trading related company in Malaysia. The sample is companies that are in food and beverage sector. And the unit of analysis in this study is Kawan Food Bahad. The data source is only involved the secondary data, which is derived from the financial statement, historical data, company background, and journal article. And I also using the SPSS. Mm, software to run the interferential statistics such as correlations, coefficients, ANOVA, and so on. 
And let's look at this juridical juridical framework of the study. As you can see here, the in independent variables is internal factors, external factors, and also the both internal and external factors. For the dependent variable is the interest rate. Okay, for the findings and analysis, let's start with the descriptive statistic. There are three main components in descriptive statistic, which is mean, standard deviation, and n. The mean is the average, and standard deviation is the dispersion or the volatility, and n is the number of observations. As you can see here, uh, the inflation rate has the most uh, standard deviations, has the highest standard deviations, uh, which means that the inflation rate is most unpredictable uh, variable among all the uh, variables and for the end it's only five because i only taken five years from of the company and the report which is start from 2014 to 2018 so for the correlation it shows that which variable is related to the independent variable which is interest rate interest rate and as you can see here the un unemployment rate is the most significant because it has the value of 0 0.09 to be considered as significant it's the value of significant must be below 0 0.1 or 0 0.05 and the ANOVA tables, it shows that which uh, the study is did the significant and in my in this case my study is not significant because the value of the p-value is uh, above 0 0.1 for the model summary let's look at the adjusted r square the higher the adjusted r square is better and in order to increase the R square, adjusted R square value, I need to increase my independent variables or the number of observations. For coefficients, uh, it tells us which variable is the most influence on the uh, dependent variable. And we need to look at the T value, which one is the highest. And an unemployment rate has the highest t value, and it means that unemployment rate has the highest influence on the interest rate. As a conclusion, external factor has the most significant impact on the interest rate, which is the dependent variable. This is because the significant value of external factor that illustrated in the other tables is lowest among internal factors, external factors, and both internal and external factors. Common football had may face higher market risk because it is exposed to the risk of exchange rate fluctuations, which cannot be ex expected. In terms of internal factors, the result shows that there is no very there is not very significant related or influence the interest rate. Hence, the constant movement of the interest rate K KSB or Kawan Superhat management team still able to cope with it. For the recommendations, I would like to suggest that Kawan Superhat should diversify the risk by producing different product lines. This is because when there is a changes in cut consumers' uh, taste or preference, Kawan Superhat still able to survive by generating sales from other product lines. Kawan Superhat uh, Superhat should make sure that their cold chain logistics is on the optimum level so that they can go down the issues of spoilage of food is at the minimum level to avoid reputational risk. I also would like to suggest the uh, future researcher to increase the number of the independent variables and number of observations because it will make the study become comparable, meaningful more convincing and the result can be used to present the industry. So that's all from me. Thank you.